target settles in A quiet walk off of the road A bigger appetite Away from the drinks and the chaos You know it's a little bit of change But it always feels the same Anyway After the lights and the sawtooth of sound It was bigger than the now Too late to begin with the ending We found it's a little bit of change But it always seems so strange Anymore Fog it settles in A pile up off of the road All right, Hobbs and the Pioneers, welcome to the Pittsburgh Hearst Concert Series. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. How are you? That was uh, something new. Uh, yeah. Bigger than the now, some stuff you guys were working on. Um, talk a little bit about uh, the band, introduced the band to everybody, and... Uh, Let's talk a little bit about your music. Absolutely. So here we have Amy Lynette um, on saxophone and vocals, obviously. She also plays ukulele. <laughs> and we have Mike Smales on the drums. <laughs> and we have Brad Collins on guitar and the synth board. Right. <laughs> so you guys have been together now for since 2017, right? Yeah, the three of us for about two years and Mike about a year almost now, right? Almost to the day. Yeah. yeah. Let's t talk a little bit about the, the music you guys have been making together. I know that we did a uh, feature on Ryan and, and the Pioneers uh, a month or so ago in the Pittsburgh Current. And uh, this is actually a song I got to hear a rough cut of, and it um, has changed a little bit, I think, since that, that uh, the demo I heard. It's, uh, it's a great song. I, is is this sort of a different, uh, a different path for you guys musically? Um, I think compared to the In the Alps uh, yeah. album, it probably is. Because um, I think on that one, we, we went in not really knowing what we were going to do. Yeah. Because um, we didn't have a drummer, and we didn't have, <laughs> you know, we were basically writing songs like in my apartment and Brad's apartment. Right. And it was like, oh, let's take these acoustic songs and figure them out in the studio, whereas this one, it's going to be like, we're recording at Mike's house, and we obviously have a drummer and a full band now, right. so we're taking what we do and trying to, you know, capture it with a studio rather than trying to build something from scratch in the studio. Where are the influences coming from in, in your songs? What's the process like? Hmm, <laughs> the process. <laughs> <laughs> Start with process. <laughs> yeah, um, so I usually come to the group with like a, mm -hmm. you know, maybe 50% done idea, uh, maybe s some lines and a guitar riff. Like on this one, yeah, I had this thing going on, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, you know, we played that at Mike's house, and then we just all started filling in. Um, and then we usually kind of iron it out over and over <laughs> again. Like, we'll, we'll play it, and we'll be like, ah, it still doesn't flow, it still doesn't flow. Because, um, yeah, our main goal is to just make it flow, mm -hmm. make it seem like nothing nothing weird happens that you wouldn't want to happen, right. but still keep it interesting, which is kind of tough because, yeah. you know, making it easy to listen <laughs> to but maintain interest is always, like, uh, that's always the challenge for, uh, I think, us anyway. That's the goal. Have, yeah. have uh, or, or in you guys as well. I mean, have you been, um, I know that you were in some bands and then you were solo before you started this, uh, this group. Um, what about you guys? Is it just collaboration, a new thing, obviously together, but, um, how is it different from, you know, solo stuff and yeah. on your own? Um, well, I'll let Amy go with that as <laughs> someone else who plays solo by themselves. Yeah. I mean, prior to this, I only did solo stuff and with the exception of like classical, um, mm -hmm. band. Um, so it was definitely a lot different for me. 
um, because also I've never really written with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, So it just kind of, you have to rely on the other people more than I'm used to. And um, (laughs) and as as being a sort of singular player myself, this was a good way of just like kind of learning how to interact. So how how did you guys how did you guys get together in terms of both kind of solo artists? How did you how did you guys come together? So they ended up with that uh, hand bones open mic. Oh wow! Yeah, we we both played and I saw her play her songs with yeah. ukulele and I was like, well, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> so uh, I asked her if she'd be interested in you know playing some of the stuff I was writing and right. we started doing that and then yeah we just kept kept going. Where are the inspirations from the songs coming from? Are you guys just writing about the lives you're living, the what you see, or just a um, I think it's so that that's one of the most interesting parts I think about writing writing with other people is like I can have an idea of what it's about and mm-hmm. it usually will be about something in my life, but I don't really love the idea of just writing the same song over and over again from right. my point of view. So then when I get together with Brad and Amy, the, they'll have a different interpretation on yeah. it. We kind of just go off on these tangents, like, oh, what if that character did this or that? Right. And yeah, um, you can catch Ryan Hoffman and the Pioneers. On April 5th, this Friday, April 5th, um, doors open at 8. The show starts at 8.30 at the Hard Rock Cafe in Station Square. And also on Saturday, April 13th, um, at the Government Center, a new record store on the north side. You can catch them as part of Record Store Day. They're going to be, they're, the whole event is going from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. They're going to be on at about 4. Um, tell me a little bit about the next, uh, the next song you're going to play for us. So we were debating which ones to play. I think we're going to try a brand new one next. Great. Um, Hope it goes well. Fantastic. (laughs) Ryan Hoffman, the Pioneers. Behind the crowded awnings Always waiting It's getting heavy The last stitch in your favorite sweater And it's a marvel That these things even work together We've got a short list If you think you could do it better We've got a short list of places we could go together And I've been taking my time, ease my breath, ease my mind, be grateful When the still water calls, there's no rush to the bottom, patience And I can't see past the vague ideas I know I've been away and you said it's only been bad weather We've got a short list if you think you could do it better And I've been taking my time, ease my breath, ease my mind, be grateful when the still water calls, there's no rush to the bottom, patience. And the lightning I saw from the hill you were born was wasted. And the still water calls, there's no rush to the bottom, patience, patience. Sky leaving 
again. You put your weapons down. You found a friend. I'm waiting on that night sky, leaving again. You put your weapons down. You found a friend.
um, so what, what can we expect from you guys next? Obviously, you've got some new music working. When can we expect a, a new record from you guys? Any ideas? Um, we're, we have a Warhol show September 20th. Great. Um, we're pretty excited about that. Um, we're still finalizing the lineup, but we would love to have something to release by then. Whether it's an EP or a full album, yeah. that'd be a cool release date. If you want to see Ryan Hoffman, the Pioneers, live, you can do so this Friday at the Hard Rock Cafe. Doors open at 8, show starts at 8.30. You can also see them on the April 13th on Record Store Day at uh, the Government Center, a badass record store on the north side. 11 a.m. to 10 11 a.m. to ten p.m. is the event. These guys are going to play at 4. Um, so, is this... Uh, we, if you, like I said, we interviewed... Ryan, for an article about a month or so ago, and um, as we said, you were doing some solo stuff before. Mm -hmm. You've been playing with these guys a while now. <laughs> Any regrets about getting back into band life? I, I wouldn't think so, but is this, uh, is this everything that you kind of... Well, actually, between me and you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no regrets yeah. at all. We still, act in fact, we might play next one of the ones uh, from the solo record yeah. um, that we've all been playing, but no, no regrets. It's helped me grow a lot as, yeah. uh, as a singer, songwriter, and... Uh, it's nice to get out of your own head for a little bit and to share it with some people, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. A couple programming notes. If you can catch the Pittsburgh Current podcast tomorrow, 1 p.m., I'll be talking Pirates baseball with Mike Wasaki. And our next Pittsburgh, uh, our next scheduled Pittsburgh Current concert series is um, April 23rd, 5.30 p.m. We have Brittany Chantel. She'll be debuting some songs from her new pop album, which we're really excited about. And um, we're hoping to have an announcement, possibly a very special guest, coming up on the show next week. So we're, we're hoping we can announce something about that later this week. Um, Ryan Hoffman and the Pioneers, um, thanks a lot for coming in, guys. We really yeah, appreciate so it. Appreciate us. listening Absolutely. to music. You gonna play us out? One more. Yep, yeah, play out with a, it's an old one. Okay. something I can barely see that's the way that's the way they told me it would always be and if it goes then it goes like the way I think I found the antidotes down in the graves.
down in the grace Then I got lost searching on that hill I think there's more to see but I don't know If that's the way it's gonna be well You just let it go